What's up, geeks? Trust me, today we got a lot to talk about. I got my boy James here. Hello, geeks. Let's do this. Clink, 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 clink. Let's talk about the bombshell that happened today. Ice Man, Mr. Bobby Drake. Is a homosexual. Yeah. And the only thing that I said when I first heard this was, oh, wait, what? Uh, the only gripe I have with Iceman being gay is that he was created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. Right. And that is the golden like age of Marvel Comics. And I just don't agree with them touching or changing anything about the golden age. I didn't even like it when they made Nick Fury black in the comics. The comics that were created back then, back then. Now, alternate universes, completely fine with that. I love it when you do it with, uh, what, what is it, 616? It's like the normal one. Right. And from what I know, this is 616, from what I know. The one they're doing? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but... I can't, I don't want to say this, I'm not 100% sure if this is in 616, but it is... It is the all-new X-Men yes. issue number 40. Bobby is talking to Jean Grey, and she pulls him to the side, and she's like, oh, let me get <laughs> he was yeah. giving a compliment to a female, and the team's like, hold on. Yeah. Let me holler at you real quick. Mm -hmm. like, you know you're gay, right? <laughs> like, what? Me? Me? <laughs> 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 like, you know you're gay. Hold on, me? Hold yeah, on, me? <laughs> I ain't gay. Like, I'm not gay. <laughs> well, for real, I love girls. <laughs> Accept it, Ice Man. Accept it. Accept it. I mean, it don't make no difference to me. If no. he gay, he gay. Like, it's the new world. Mm -hmm. It's just whatever. But the thing that I don't like, again, is stop touching these comics. Yeah, like, stop leave Yeah, let the OGs be OGs. I, well, I would be mad if 10 years from now, Geeked Up TV becomes a telephone uh, app and becomes a television channel and becomes this huge thing. And then, like, the new people are like, yeah, man, we like all this uh, comic book crap, but Geeked Up TV is now only going to talk about cell phones. Like, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. That's not what I created, you know? I think it's cool if, if, if Stan Lee's cool with it. That's how I feel. If Stan Lee's cool with it, then do it. They made Catwoman buy, but I like you know we were talking. I could see that. Yeah, I, I can believe that. Catwoman, yeah, sure. Catwoman kissing up on anything, no matter what it is, whether it's shaped like a pickle or shaped like a plum. <laughs> Catwoman gonna put all of it in her mouth. I'm sorry, and the children. All for my y'all support, but I just want to say this. Some people got a problem with the way I felt about the Batman Superman trailer. Deal with it. I think it was great, and I think this movie's not gonna be great. That's all I gotta say yeah. about that. It's too many gaps for me. It's like yeah, it's, it's just it's how you gonna go from the last Batman and last Superman to someone they want to be an older Batman, but a dude. But it, I mean, Superman just started, bro. Yeah. Superman just started. This they called him Superman once the whole movie, and the next movie you have Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman in it. Think about that. I think um, once they hit theaters, everybody going to see it. It's probably been rushed. Yes, it has been rushed. And and you, when you try and catch up with Marvel, yeah. which has taken their time with each movie, you're going to end up rushing a movie, and then that's 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 the wrong Marvel, like, like ten, 10 years deep in the movie? Yeah, 10 years. years. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Whatever. I'm not trying to turn this into this. Uh, <laughs> you know you guys want to know how I feel <laughs> about it, it's going to be in the description below. We just, actually, we just watched... The Jurassic World uh, <laughs> trailer. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I don't. I mean, I, I'm not excited for the movie, but I thought it was pretty good. What yeah, no one that we know what we know about the older ones. I'm not. I'll watch it just because of the history of the movie, the franchise. But am I expecting too much from it? I'm not excited. <laughs> throw a big name like Chris Pratt into it. You write the movie like this, bang, 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 and then you put. From executive producer Steven Spielberg. Nobody's name <laughs> comes up first when they're executive producing. We know that if you mess with dinosaurs, you probably gonna die. And that's been a known fact for like the last three. <laughs> Four movies, man. With their own dinosaur, which sounds even dumber. That's probably the twist they want to go with it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, we created our own dinosaur. It's gonna be smarter than the last one that said with a smarter yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> 
Why didn't they make a dinosaur? If you're going to make a new dinosaur, why don't you make a dinosaur that eats leaves and plants or <laughs> something like that? Why would you make one that likes meat? They ain't make no punk dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah, if I make a dinosaur, he's going to have guts, he's going to drink 40s. You know what I'm saying? If we're just grading the trailer, I will give the trailer a solid B minus. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. B minus. The only thing I, I really look forward to is seeing the use of more more different dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one scene you see, I don't know the name of the dinosaur, like the ball on the end of the tail. You see him slapping around the ball that the people are around. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, think yeah. of the name. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what I mean. The, the money shot for me is when the one dude shows up, the one dinosaur bites the other dinosaur, and you see the other one just go, ah! Oh, the pterodactyl. Yeah, he just screams for air. Yeah. <laughs> also, the Fantastic Four trailer. I actually thought that was, uh, they should have led with that. Yeah. They shouldn't have put that crappy trailer into, what do we do when people and blah, 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 black guy voice. That's it, that one. They have a good chance of turning around this movie franchise because nobody was really thinking of a reboot. Nobody was yeah. like, we need the Fantastic Four. So you have the time, nobody's waiting for it. This That's isn't true. a Batman vs Superman, this isn't Avengers 2. You know, nobody's sitting there clamoring to get this new Fantastic Four movie. So if anything, you got time. You have time to make it very, very good. And if it's not, then this is just, so it's, yeah, <laughs> this is really bad. What do you think about the way Doom looked? From the little glimpse we got, how do you think? It was like a matted Silver Surfer to me. Like he had no shine to him. It was just like Silver Surfer. The fact that Doom was a is a blogger in this movie is just uh... it's a slap in the face. Doom is probably like one of the best villains in yes. Marvel. Actually, Doom is one of the most powerful villains because Doom. I don't know. Do your research on Doctor Doom. He does not have a limit of power. Because what he is, is a conduit. Mm -hmm. All he is, is a middleman between electricity. So all that's a good he, way to put yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's all he is. So if there's enough electricity, he can channel it and pretty much blow. One thing I am excited for, the way Thing looks, he actually looks like a really good yeah. Thing. Thing actually looks pretty good. Um, I actually, a lot of people hate this, but I actually like the way Thing looked in the first Fantastic Four. See, I wasn't upset about that either. I wasn't, but because it was It's because practical. the first time, yeah. the scene, we didn't know what, ex what limit it could but be. But at least he looked new. like you could touch him. He didn't yeah. look like a CGI figure. Yeah, that's true. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of a whole bunch of CGI. I'm not the biggest fan of just seeing... Like, that was my biggest problem with Spider-Man movies, including the first one to, all the way to Amazing. It's like, you know, you put this guy in a suit, then he jumps, and then it's CGI, 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 fight. Sits back down. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Man. It's like, like do they even do yeah, real it's work? Like, it's another Geek Sweep of the Week. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Silly Phil, S-I-L-L-I-P-H-Y-L, -L and at Silly Phil Show on Instagram. And don't forget the Silly Phil Show every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Spreaker.com. That's Speaker with an R. S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E All right, man. Peace out, y'all. All right, geeks.